Written in 1994, Reviving Ophelia, Saving the Cells of Adolescent Girls, by Dr. Mary Pfeiffer, is about how when girls are little, they are playful and carefree. Once adolescence hits, most girls tend to find that it is harder to be yourself and still fit in. Pfeiffer argues that as girls grow older, society tends to find a way to make girls stray from their true selves. This causes more girls to find false selves in order to fit in. Your true self can be defined as the way you are without concern of judgment. These photos show just some of my time in 4-H. With the many experiences I have had through 4-H and meeting many people, I have learned to become more comfortable with my true self and not care about what other people think. False selves can be defined as the person you try to be in order to make yourself more acceptable to society. This can include things like smoking cigarettes, doing drugs, and drinking. By finding a false self, girls usually end up in some form of trouble, whether it be parents or the law. Adolescent girls end up pregnant because society says that teenagers should have intercourse. Teens feel the need to get away from it all, so they end up drinking and do drugs. They create addictions and end up needing more help than when they started. Today, I see young girls dressed in high brand names like Ralph Lauren to fit in. Girls younger and younger feel the need to plaster their faces in makeup to make themselves feel pretty. Beauty is defined by society, causing girls to feel the constant need to be different from who they are, and more quote unquote beautiful. When searching women's magazines on Google Images, the pictures on the cover of the magazines are all the same. Skinny girls with long hair and bright white smiles. Because this is seen as beautiful and not this, girls look to magazines to see how they should also be. So ladies, who are you? Are you the same person at home as you are at school?